is not interrupted. See this fluid which is coming, mm. uh, it has got dye so that uh, we inoculate it in the right place and this is a lentoid fluid. So if you inoculate virus, then this is a source of your uh, virus. Uh, very recently, I mean just two months or one month back, we, uh, we published another paper in which we inactivated avian influenza viruses in, in egg fluid. Because as we know, I mean for example, we send antigen to FMC. And uh, we cannot send live influenza virus. So we have developed a method using BPL, formalin, and ethyl to very quickly inoculate. And you confirm using egg. And we use this fluid actually, like uh, egg and egg fluid. So, uh, I will never do this because this uh, generates lots of aerosols. So even while harvesting, what we do is, we don't harvest with this. Nowadays we have micro pipettes. So you, you sub take the fluid and when you push in the tube then remove this and then inoculate because then take it out because otherwise you know, this will generate lots of aerosols. As you know influenza spreads by aerosols. Okay. Not here. Aerosols. So now we take this out and see. So this this whole thing is allantoid fluid and you see this embryo sac is coming. So when when we inoculate in in embryo sac uh, or I would say when we do amniotic, then this fluid uh, should be colored so that you are in the right cavity and then you have yolk sac. So this much is close to 8 ml and uh, you can see still there is a uh, cavity intact and we can harvest this fluid. So how, egg, how amniotic fluid is harvested? So can you again uh, once uh, tell the parts? Okay, so this is this is yolk sac, this is amniotic cavity. The fluid which has come out is uh, allantoic fluid, and now we'll harvest amniotic fluid. So I just need to. So this is like amnio. Um, uh, so this is a clear fluid, which is amniotic fluid, and this can be a source of uh, virus when you inoculate in amniotic cavity. By the way, whatever cavity you choose, you may get virus from all cavities because. Virus doesn't multiply in, in fluids, it multiplies in all the membranes and it is disseminated in those fluids. Okay. So now last thing which we take it out, so this this thick is albumin, okay. this is a uh, proteinaceous part and then now slowly you can see here all of you that this you know, corollantic membrane is coming out. Okay. So now this this is which one side membrane? So this side, sir, please. So this is a membrane which has come out, and this is a corallantic membrane. Okay. okay, this one. So you just cut it open. This this whole membrane. You cut it open, and you can use this as a source of uh, virus antigen. Okay. So this explains the whole thing. Now you see here there is nothing. So this is practically a dead shell which was uh, just protecting the embryo. So once this is done, then uh, we discard this. We can try other routes, for example, amniotic. For amniotic, you need to have candle.